let's get Vixen downloaded. Open up your web browser. Now we'll type vixenlights.com into the address bar. So highlight it. That's V-I-X-E-N-L-I-G-H-T-S dot com and hit the enter. This is their home screen and there's a lot of information in here about the team and these are really really good people they created this software and they continue to support it and they put it out there for free so these are some really really good people they have a log on screen but that's only if you wish to be a contributor to the software me I don't know anything about programming so I just want to tell them thanks here for what they've done Let's go to the download screen. We'll left click. Now here we have their uh, download page. We have Vixen 3 downloads, which is what I'm going to do. A lot of people have used Vixen 2, uh, but I'm using 3 and not having any troubles with it. So I'm going to click on Vixen 3 downloads. And this is their current releases. They have a 32-bit and a 64-bit. If you have a question about your computer, all you need to do is go over to the uh, Start menu, and we'll go to Computer. We'll right-click. We'll go down to Properties. And here we can see there's a 32-bit operating system on my computer. So we know that, so now we'll close it. Now you can use their latest software, but it has a black background and I'm just not that real crazy about it. Uh, I'm going to use one of their previous versions down here at the bottom. Also, uh, if you do create a Christmas display using their software, they would appreciate it if you would include their logo into your uh, video. So I intend to do just that myself. So if we go down here to the bottom, the 3.1 U2, that's update 2, is the one that I'm going to use here. Now their download screen comes up, so I'm just going to click next. I agree to their license agreement. Next on the release notes, I've already read them, but if you would like to stop and re read them. The destination folder, the default, is C Program Files Vixen. Once again, you can click Browse, put it anywhere you'd like if you don't want it there, but there's fine for me, so I'll click Next. And shortcuts, uh, we're just going to call them Vixen. There's no reason to change, so we'll install. And now it is loading, and we'll be back as soon as it's done. The program has finished running now. And if you did not have Microsoft.NET Framework on your computer, uh, it might come up letting you know that it's going to install it as well. And it has to. It's part of what this program needs to run. So you just go ahead and let it. Now we can uh, see the latest readmes on this. I don't need to. I've already read them. And running Vixen. Uh, when you finish right here, you don't really need to do that right at the moment either, so I'm going to finish up and close it out. Now, if you don't have a picture of your house or barn or trees or whatever it is you're planning on decorating with Vixen, you'll need to get one now and put it on your computer somewhere where you can find it. I can just put mine out on my desktop, makes them easy to locate. I have a uh, clip art drawing here of a house. It's a very simple one that I'm going to use for this demonstration. So let's get started with Vixen. I'll open the program. Alright, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to set up display. and we get the display configuration screen. On the controller setup side, on the add, right now it says blinky lanky. We have a down arrow uh, menu here. 
we're going down to generic cereal. So we'll put that in the box. We'll add it. And we're going to change this controller name to controller1. And the outputs, we have 48 on each Arduino. Uh, it doesn't matter the size of the box. If you're only using 16 of them, that's fine. But you still have 48 outputs on that controller. So we'll run it up here to 48. You can also just highlight this and type the number in. So now we have controller 1. Has outputs 1 through 48 on it. Now we're going to do that one more time for the second Arduino. We're going to call it controller 2. Outputs once again 48. And now we have those. So we have our two controllers. When you right click on the word controller, you'll get a menu, and we want to left click configure. Serial port settings are currently not set, and we're going to set them. Remember, we have uh, an Arduino on COM1 and another on COM5. So I'll click Setup. And we're going to set the first one as COM1. The baud rate needs to be 9600, 981, and OK. The second one is COM5. So we're going to configure, Setup, and it shows COM5, and if you look, it'll show COM1 as being in use now because we just set it for the other one. So COM5, 9600, 981, and OK. Now our controllers are both set up to run the Mega 2560s. So on the other side, on our elements, we're going to add and these will actually be the outputs or outlets in your boxes. We're going to add a generic number group. We're going to add it. I'm going to call mine plugs. You can call yours anything that you can remember. The uh, item prefix is going to be plug. And we had 48 in each controller, so that's a total of 96 outlets. And this is if you had two boxes uh, of 48 apiece. Now, like my little box, that has 16. If you only had one big box, one little box, you'd add the 16, you'd get 64. So, it, you, it'll be whatever the amount of outlets you have in your controller box. So we're going to OK that. And if we look at it, we now have plug 1 to 96. And these we're going to patch to the controllers. So controller 1, we have 1 through 48. So I'm just going to highlight controller 1. That way it does all 48 outputs at once. And over here to the patch points, we're going to use the first 48 for controller 1. So I can't highlight plug because plugs because that would highlight all of them. And we only want to take the first 48. So I'll highlight the first one by left clicking on it. Go down to 48. I'll hold down the shift key and left click on 48 and those first 48 are now highlighted so we have a total patch points of 48 outputs of 48 and we're going to patch the elements to the controllers and they turn green and you have a patching complete uh, notification that patched 48 elements to the controllers now
Now we'll do the same with controller 2. We're going to patch all 48 of those to the next 48. We highlight the first one, drop to the bottom, hit the shift key, and patch them together. So now all 96, all 96 of our plugs now have the green dot that says they are patched to the Arduinos. So that's all we need to do on this screen. We'll OK it. Now you never want to just close because it will not save your work. You have to OK and that's how it saves. Next we'll set up a preview. So let's left click on set up previews. This is our preview configuration screen. We're going to add a new preview. So we'll left click. You only have one to choose from, the Vixen Display Preview, so we'll highlight it and OK it. The preview screen box here that popped up, this is where you'll see the images of your house and your decorations. But for now, it's just covering something up, so we'll move it down and you can see on the Vixen Display Preview, we have a check mark in the box. If you uncheck it, screen disappears, check it again, screen comes back. So we're going to leave it out of our way. Now we're going to change the name of this to Christmas 2015. And when I update it, it'll change the name here at the top. And we have our Christmas 2015 preview. So we're going to OK this and that will save our work to this point just to make sure we don't lose anything. Now we'll open it back up.